Good morning to each and every one of you this morning. Uh, I'd like to say our serenity prayer at this stage of the game. Uh, God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen.
Good morning, good morning, good morning to each and every one of you. We balance the elements this morning because the winds are a little bit stronger, but I had an urge to come over and check the East Coast today for this stunning sunrise, and it was a good selection. No mighty winds, we can get by with that, hopefully. If we don't spin around too much today, we should be just fine. All right, from here, we're just gonna take a little look up the East Coast, and we're gonna say our serenity prayer. We did that already, but we have some late comers. So for those of you that did come on late this morning, we're going to say it this time around, not only for ourselves, but for all of those um, that are up in Ukraine right now and all over the world that have been affected by, um, you know, strife and wars, etc. We're just going to pray for peace in general. And we hope that, you know, this will reach them in some form or fashion this morning. So let's do that one more time. Um, if you'd like to join me, please do. If not, I'll be back with you in a couple of moments time. God grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change. The courage to change the things that we can and the wisdom to know the difference. Your will, not ours, be done. Amen. So all positive thoughts and all caring and kindness going, I mean, extended to all those this morning that are not feeling the peace of serenity that we're currently experiencing, that are not seeing this absolute God-given beauty that we're seeing this morning. We're praying for all of them and, you know, we pray for better days for them as well. But for ourselves, we're going to enjoy what we have here we're going to give blessings for all of the peace and all the serenity that we do have and we're certainly going to enjoy the life that we've been given um, because our enjoyment will bring positivity to us and that will radiate to others we give off the positiveness when we're feeling that way we give off the love and peace when we're feeling that way so today we'll strive to do that furthest point that we're seeing right now um, it would be up by just to the east of Concept Bay that's an area called the Savannah out there in the cliffs itself um, goes right around to Bell Point where we were a few weeks back um, then you're coming down into the Concept Bay area uh, we're not seeing Bath that's in one of the coves up there same as Martins Bay um, the next area that we do see with the rocks and stuff that's up in Glen Burnie coming down into Tent Bay by Foster Hall into Tent Bay and then into the Bash Bay area and then we're looking along the east coast itself here just beautiful this morning I have all switches and locks on this presently holding so hopefully we will not blow about too much um, but we'll see what we can do today we're going to be doing what i call parish hopping we hop in from st andrew to st joseph uh, back into st andrew at the moment we are in st andrew um, i'll tell you where we are in a second as soon as we walk up to that elevation now we are hoping that the management and owners of this property are not upset with us because i didn't actually call them before but i did walk wrong up here this morning it looked relatively good we are at the bay lounge and this is in st andrew this is a recent restaurant that's being set up up here beautiful beautiful location for absolutely stunning scenery um i have spoke look at that sunrise in the glow and just look at that is that not spectacular amazing and you're also seeing my friend as well and me hopefully so good morning to each and every one of you now this restaurant is located right here this is their main deck itself they are planning to do some expansions down below they've got some small wooden uh, spools down there where you can sit up and eat as well but have a look at this scenery overlooking the Barclays Park area, Calwash on the east coast of the island. Just stunning. Now Bay Lounge, I um some I have some friends I've not eaten here, but I have some my friends that I call my family who come down here um, every December into March and they spend on the island. They were here recently, they're from Niagara in um, Canada, and they told me that the food here was wonderful. They actually told me the drinks were superb, but I haven't heard them tell me a bad comment about drinks anywhere in the island. But it did say that the food here and the um, atmosphere was great just for hanging out in a stop while they're on their island tour. So good morning to Jeff and Roseanne and everyone else this morning um, from up there in that beautiful country as well. Good morning to you. All right, as I said this morning, we have a lot of breeze. I have my, uh, I will have to call this my hang glider because if I pull this up, I will be doing exactly that. I'll be hang gliding right down the hills. Um, so I'm not be pulling this up, but I did have it in case we had to take shelter to protect the equipment, etc. But as you will see in a couple of seconds, it is just glorious and it's getting more beautiful by the second if that is possible. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All of the hills now begin to light up. All of the shadows where you would have seen before that were dark are now beginning to take on their life. You can hear the birds around. I heard some of y'all this morning mention a cat. Well, everybody knows I'm a cat charmer. So when they're here, they call for me whenever they see me. So I couldn't go to them, but poor cat. So I'll talk to them another time. A lot of gabbling is going on here. Uh, these are cages that are hand filled, I guess they're sort of um, mechanically as well now, but hand filled mainly. And um, these are put up to protect the land from slipping in this area. 
Um, this entire Scotland district and this entire hillside of St Andrew and St Joseph are prone to slippage. So if you don't put up this kind of stuff here, the entire land will go. I know many homes have lost their foundation. Many people have had to relocate because of home slippage. But as you can see, this is some serious, intense work that's been going on here. Now, we saw this a year ago, this work going on, and we were not, or at least I should say, I was not too sure of what was going on. I knew it was gabling, but I was hoping it wasn't going to be a massive construction up here. Um, it is not. It has maintained its original state, so it is absolutely beautiful. Cell tower just down there in the distance that you can see, so we should have a brilliant signal for this morning. We're going to take our walk now, and we're going to make our way up through here. Actually, you know what? Let me get down a little further. And give you all a 360 of this area so you get a feeling of where we are now remember we're locked off right now so if you're not as smooth as usual you understand that, it, that I, the motors are really not working right now to smooth it out we're doing the best that we can because of the wind conditions so here we go let's hope this doesn't blow all around i'll keep my hands close by Stunning, stunning views of over here. All right, we're gonna take our way on a little bit of a walk now. Um, we're gonna be walking, as I said before, we're going from St. Andrew and we're gonna be going into the St. Joseph area. Yes, you all see my friend. He was trying to distract me when I was there talking to you all. Um, try, well, not talking to you all, when I was keeping quiet because he wanted me to talk. I know that the driver and him work very closely together. So I know that any time that he can make me talk, she's gonna laugh and tease me. So this morning, he was not successful real country area of Barbados have a look at the homes up there in the hills um, this is not Chalky Monk, Chalky Monk is over the other side um, but this is just beautiful beautiful hill areas out here just gorgeous you can see a Chalky Monk itself and the ridges and stuff up there beautiful hiking area we're going to be doing some of that in the future and um, that is up by the potteries area itself beautiful part of Barbados very prone to slippage you can see all of the bare face of the cliffs and the ridges that's where all of the uh, growth and stuff would have slipped from in the recent recent past Very very hard area to live in I must say but beautiful absolutely stunning All right on where we will go I Saw a gentleman up here this morning when he came I was asking if anybody lived on the property that I could seek some permission um, He said no one lived nearby though, but I think I was telling him it's a beautiful morning governor. How are you? Yes, All right, my brother cool it's a beautiful, beautiful morning. I was saying, man, you got a beautiful morning. He said, way more than that, Skipper, way more than that. You wait to see sunrise. Well, I've seen sunrise before, but I know what he feels like. He lives here. He sees us every day, but he is one that can still appreciate this heaven that we're seeing over here. Beautiful. Did mention about darker makers being essential attire this morning. Hopefully you brought them with you. You're going to be facing some of the sun this morning as well, for sure. very easy to get here i know how to get here that's not a problem but this morning i did it through the google maps just to see how accurate it would be you know how effective that was to get here spot on no problems at all so if you put in bay lounge in your gps system or in your google maps you'll be brought directly to this location parking by the restaurant very limited but there is parking here any size etc Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Enjoy these country sounds. I want to take note of this sign here. Uh, it's a turning area for buses, so if you are coming up here, this is probably where all of you would want to park. Just remember the buses do turn here. There's nowhere else for them to turn when they come to Cambridge, so please park with discretion. 
Um, if you see cars and stuff in here, don't come and park um, where you know the buses need to turn. Remember, these buses are about 36 feet long, so you don't want to be um, blocking them from turning. General area or rule of thumb is the paved area here is where the bus would use up to. So just park beyond that or park on the side of the road a little bit further to the west of where we were just on the hill that we came up. A lot of gabling and stuff going on out here. A lot of land, a um, lot of parking. Most of this stuff here is being carried down by the actual bay lounge itself. This is our parking on the inside of the gables with all of this fill. Now you don't want to be doing this hill here when it's wet. I can assure you of that. It is mainly all clay and mud. You will not stand up for too long. So if it is wet, please put on your extreme 4x4s if you're planning to venture down hills like this here because these are some serious hills to be dealing with when they're slippery. Beautiful, beautiful, just beautiful country. We're gonna go and do a 360 just a little further out, don't worry. We're not leaving that out. We're gonna give you another one, another silent one this time, hopefully too. Very steep, steep itself for sure. They said most of it is loose soil, which is of course the clay and mud. So please be very, very careful out here. Hopefully the microphone is working well. I haven't seen anything come up, but to be honest with you, I'm not looking at the screen too often. So <laughs> I um, pretty much got to keep my eyes on where we're going this morning. I have all my brand new beauties, so I got to make sure I don't step in any wet mud or any wet clay because I don't want to dirty these up. These are my angel's gift to me. Before I go any further and forget, I'd like to mention that uh, um, we're going to have an unusual week because on Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday I have some plans that are going to need all of my attention. Um, so we're not me broadcasting on Wednesday and Thursday. We'll put some teasers up in the day, uh, but there will be no live broadcast on Thursday. And um, more to come on April because I'm going to be taking vacation. Yes, can you all believe it? I'm going on vacation. How could someone go on vacation with this kind of scenery and this kind of beauty? Well, I'm actually going to be vacationing in it. So although I will be doing live broadcasts, I will let you know the days and more information on that later. The responses will not be happening on many days because um, I will be actually enjoying it a little bit more than normal. Uh, so the time as I take at home on a day to respond to all your beautiful comments and stuff, I'm not be having that kind of um, you know response to you. So bear with me. I'll talk to you about more about that. I just want to let you know there are some things that are coming up in April. Special, special month for me. Now over the hill you'll see a camp out van uh, right there on the top of that ridge itself. I hope you can make it out directly in the center of the camera. Uh, I've actually camped up there with Mario Williams and some of their friends in the long days gone by. Used to camp on top of that ridge around summertime, but that's a beautiful, beautiful spot. Again, four by four access only and in wet conditions, you have to have a beast. Again, the beautiful, beautiful East Coast Island. All of the coves, all of the areas, all the bays, all lining up and opening up right now with the sunlight. A glorious sunrise it is. All right, we do R360 from here. Let you enjoy this here. So here we go. If any of you remember, we talked about Grand's Lookout before. We've done some vlogs from up there. Grand's Lookout is the peak over in the distance there where you're seeing the sheep going up to. That is a beautiful scenic point there. You're actually seeing a valley out there that we're not seeing at the moment. However, it is not that good for going, or if we were um, putting or uh, including the Bay Lounge, it'd be very difficult because a lot of walk, you have to go up the hill and then come down to that. So we're going to spend our time in this area generally today. That is Bay Lounge for you. You can see what it looks like now. Um, this is the other angle of it. We are in the parish of St. Joseph at this present time. You see we came out to a beautiful little pinnacle here. That you can have a look and see how lovely out there was in that 360. Just glorious. 
All right, you went see he's slackening a little bit now, so I will hopefully be able to come off with some of my switches and let you enjoy the scenery that we are taking in right now as well. Beautiful up here. They said very different when it's wet. Yeah, morning, Governor. My good mic, you want to say hi to the world? Hi, world, welcome to Barbados, east side. Perfect, my brother. What's your name? Side. What's your name, blood? Spurman. Spurman? Yeah. Congrats, man. Thanks for making a day for everyone, huh? Respect, brother. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I can give you something now. Just one second. All right, I'm going to give Spurman one of our Facebook uh, address information because this gentleman bring me some peace and love this morning, and I know he's going to bring peace and love to all you all as well. I'm not too sure. I see a house up there on the uh, caravan on the hill. So this is a live broadcast, my friend. So good morning to you again, Spurman. Good morning. Respect, my brother. All right, we'll catch you later, right? Man, do that for me, blood. All right, cool, man. Nice. So we have all the country folks. As I always say to you all, when you come into the country, you meet what Barbados was like all along. Obviously, when you get into cities and stuff. Uh, respect, man. All right, so as you would know, many times you go into cities and stuff, people are more tied up in the rat race of work and, and the stress that's in, involved in all of that kind of heavy duty stuff. Uh, out here in the country, you find people who live on the land, enjoy the peace and the serenity that surrounds them. Gemma just said he's going to spread the word, so that is a wonderful, wonderful thing. Just beautiful. So this kind of soil here, I just want to show you a little bit more of it. This is the sand and clay and silt and mud all mixed up. You can see that this will be powdery and when it gets wet, extremely slippery. This is the type of clay and stuff you're going to be finding all over this hillside here. You will see many areas out here all washed. All of the slippage has happened recently. All the different colors of the um, soil areas where all the growth and stuff is washed away from. Beautiful, beautiful terrain though. I mean, oh my goodness, this is lovely. Now, if you had been here years ago, uh, this is one of the lookout points for the safari tours and Adventureland tours. Um, Adventureland, there were two different operations and merged into one or um, uh, the safari, either safari bought over the Adventureland tours and they merged into one. Uh, they used to have two different operations, both of them trying to offer the best of both worlds. The Adventureland used to descend from Cambridge Hills, down some tracks through this section here along the ridge into Cahawash itself. I know some of their original ambassadors are on here this morning with me, so they would remember that as well. The safari tours used to do sort of like the opposite. They used to ascend from Cahawash, come up through the hills and stuff, and park on this ridge here. And this was one of their scenic points before their lunch, lunch stop. Beautiful, beautiful area. It was actually quite, um, if you were not familiar with the type of terrain and you were not comfortable um, you could have been quite easy, a little bit scared out here because it was it was a little bit rough in those days and coming up here was definitely a challenge. When it was really wet, they could not come up this hill, of course. Again, we're going to touch a little more history here. If you've been here, I can't remember how many years ago. I know my sister from the East would tell me because she's a crop over fanatic. Um, so I know it was many years ago though. I, I, I would only guess maybe 12 years ago or something like that. She can correct me on that. We used to have the crop over events here, the party monarch. And also, um, the semi-finals was conducted over here. Uh, the stage it was on the hill. I'll show you that in a second when we get to it. This, if you were on safari tours years ago, welcome to your turn wrong point. This is it. Unable to get up here now though. So their operation, no, no operation really comes up in these hills at the moment. A couple of you guys with the big monsters may come up, some of the roads and stuff, but it's not really used. Uh, in any way by any of the commercial operations here for sure. All right, so the cell tower you're seeing there, just slightly left of our center. Uh, you'll see a flat plateau there. That is where the stage used to be set up. Um, they used to have tents and bars and all kind of stalls and also private tents all up through the hills here, right up to where I am. Cooler parties, etc., etc. If you open up a tent, you had to play for land and get the permission and stuff. All driving of vehicles, private owned vehicles, was um, disallowed from coming in here. They only allowed shuttle vehicles in, and any of the officials or the VIPs with passes could come in. So the East Coast Road was pretty much free of traffic. However, the wave of people that used to come down there was amazing. Side to side, you really couldn't drive down there. You wouldn't want to anyhow, because just too many people, thousands and thousands of people. 
that was stopped a long time ago I think uh, you know I, I don't know exactly the reasons for it but I do know that it was very difficult to set up all of these shuttling down here in the hills etc etc and that was moved over to the other side of the island back over to the south and St. Michael area we will not be sending right down to the beach today I just want to bring you to a little lower elevation here so that we can have a look at the coastline at a little better level so you can get a little better view of it uh, we're going to be stopping pretty much on the next mound I want to bring you something this morning that was special, special as in the real Barbados um, no commercial buildings, you know, nothing going on really commercial just a beautiful, beautiful hillside in the country areas of Barbados stunning views Now, there are no property marks here, but I would assume we're back in St. Andrew again. Uh, I know for sure, but my brother Malcolm will let me know for sure. He likes to just keep me updated because I, I sometimes am not too sure of the actual boundary marks. And he's very au fait with them, which is wonderful. Thanks, Malcolm, for your um, information, buddy. The more thorough and exact we can be, the better the whole, whole EMC program will be. Okay, up the East Coast Road now, you can see the road, how it works. as we up through the trees, etc. there. You're having a really good view of Tent Bay, Bashaba, and well, you can't really see Soup Bowl itself. You can see High Rock, and uh, which is, uh, I would say, in the center of the screen, just slightly uh, up from center itself. Uh, conditions out here are a little bit challenging with the winds and things, so I don't want to let go all of my, uh, all of my switches. I have to hold something in for you all for sure. And we are seeing the little tent there in the ridge itself. Hopefully, you'll be able to make that out now. Someone is doing a camp out there in the hill. It's just beautiful. These hills are filled, filled with hiking tracks, bicycle tracks, mountain bike tracks, etc. The hills from here, right around, as we go right around to Chalky Mount, etc. All of those areas are full of hiking tracks. If you want to come to Barbados and do some hiking, there's no reason why you can't find new stuff every day. There's tons and tons of different routes that are online for you that you can um, check where you are. You can actually check the route you're going on and make sure you're in the correct route. And then again, sometimes it's nice to get lost and not have a clue where you are. That is also fun as well. So this is the beautiful Barbados. Now, years ago, this is what this whole East Coast looked like. No construction, no homes, nothing on it. Just stunning. You will see the way I'm not really going on the beach today. Full of sargasm. Dark sargasm and night, a nice gold sargasm that's floating in as well. Now, I want to say put a little bit of niceness there because it really is beautiful in the sunlight. The glow on it is spectacular. But I would like it to glow and then leave, but it doesn't. So we have to be happy with what it is. But as you can see, very little sand can be seen, especially right in front of Barclays Park itself. That is Barclays Park, just over there, the structure just beyond the um, tower itself, the cellular tower. To each and every one of you, this is what I can bring to you. This is the beauty of Barbados through my eyes. As I said, we won't be broadcasting on Thursday and obviously tomorrow is an off day it doesn't mean it's a rest day I have some very important tasks to take care of more on that later on don't want to let the yes we thought with cat out the bag we don't let the dog out the cage so <laughs> we're going to say have different words today anyhow as you can see we're in beautiful barbados it is a place that's like heaven honestly it is like heaven the peace and serenity in these hills this morning was amazing i actually sat down did a little meditation when i was up at the bar itself just in front of it just waiting for the sun to come up good enough for you all guys and it was moving to say the least i actually am able to feel everything around me the sea spray you can feel it in the wind itself it is beautiful out here the cleansiness and the cleanness of this air there's no smell of the sargasm where i am at all so i can go <sighs> purity absolute purity and that's the way my heart my soul feels right now um, i love to be with you all in the morning you all are my family, you all are my friends, you know, you all have been become a part of my life for sure. And it's all because of God. I have to thank God every day for bringing me on this journey, for allowing me to be in the company of people that are just amazing and peaceful and kind and compassionate. You know, just the way we're supposed to be. So I hope you all have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoy this little bit of a country and windy conditions. I have had a wonderful time. I'll tell you the truth. I really have enjoyed this this morning. And I hope you will take the opportunity to come here yourself. You can drive right up to that bar. If you have any difficulties in walking and stuff, you can drive right up. You then have to obviously park your car in a different location or let someone park your car for you. 
we can drive right up and sit on that balcony and overlook this beautiful beautiful section of Barbados this east coast is glorious and it is my wish and I'm gonna make it again known it is my wish that we never see any commercial buildings going up here or any major housing structures go up in this area because I would like to see this left for my children their children and their children's children so anytime we see anything going up I know you all already you all want this to remain the same as well too so we will do what we can to address that situation if it ever if you need ever raises but until then we're just gonna enjoy it and we're gonna enjoy this peace and beauty I see my angel is on this morning good morning to you Angie love you with all my heart my baby and I hope to see you real soon so all of you all others love you with all of my heart as well different love but same love love from God love of a fellow human being and love of someone that's pure and someone that's happy and someone that tries their best in life to bring the best to life and make this world the best possible place that we can have a great day everyone i won't end with looking at me though this is what you're going to take in this morning look away from the sun a little bit let you enjoy that beautiful scenery up there i don't know if you're noticing but there is a motorcycle jump just down there in the valley i don't know if you can make it out because the sun is maybe having it too bright for you right now but all through there where the guys come in the motocross bikes and stuff i just saw i would mention that guy just saw that bridge for the first thing or that jump for the first thing anyway everyone this is our emc photo op for today i hope you enjoy this i hope you'll be able to say farewell to all your friends and everyone else remember we will be putting something up tomorrow and on thursday but we will not be carrying live broadcasts on either tomorrow or thursday unless something changes and as you know plans are made to be changed you know, if God wakes me up and tells me on Thursday night, go and bring some beauty to the people, I'm going to be out here bringing the beauty to you all. But right now, the intentions are to miss Wednesday and Thursday. Have a great day, everyone. Love you all. Walk in peace today. I wish you safety and good health. And as long as God spares our lives, I will see you all on Friday morning. See you all later.